How's it going guys? Eric here with OneHive 2.0 bringing you another war recap to one of our most recent wars from Marklore 2. As you can, some of you may know, we ended up matching them right after 1.0 did, which was a little weird. But we were pretty much on the same search time and they ended up dropping a few guys so it kind of made sense I guess. It ended up being a 25-25 when I think OneHive's was a 35-35 if I'm not mistaken. But we had just as much problems as One Hive did clearing their bases, as you can see. Didn't do the greatest on uh, cleanup attacks and just attacks on the Tunnel 9 in general. We had a 99, 98, a lot of high percentage, you know, two stars. Uh, it's kind of the same story as One Hive 1.0. So, what we're going to do here is just go over a couple of our attacks. Um, we're going to start off with one from Mofo. He's always doing great. Uh, Got his nice level 30 heroes, so makes it a little bit easier for him here. And he actually is going to Town Hall 9.5, well, technically 10, but he's going to be a 9.5 not too long from now, so congrats to him. And what we're looking at here is a Shattered Lalo, and he's just going to do um, just pretty basic stuff starting off. Gives his two golems going down, a nice funnel. Uses a minion, uses some minions on both the sides to make sure that he gets the really wide funnel which ends up paying off for him on that left side and gets that army camp incredibly easy since there's that cannon there. But he waits for his uh, his golems to start pulling the CC until he drops his king, and he gets a really nice lightning spell there. He just ends up taking out a really good chunk of the CC there, like a CC spell should if dropped properly. Ends up taking out the queen just really early, both ADs and also incredibly early. He ends up starting his, uh, he's able to start his loons just really quick, ends up getting an air bomb there which ends up being really helpful for him. And I believe this was a first attack, so we didn't know that Tesla was there, so it ends up being a little bit sloppy for him there, which still ends up working fine. And he gets his hogs, or sorry, gets his loons going in that nice counterclockwise motion, just nice targeted loons. Just really rolls through the base, his queen's still going. Ends up helping out with one of the Teslas there. I mean, just he really just rolls through this base, not a really big challenge for him. I believe he has a, yeah, he ends up having a almost full hound at the end there. So he really just uh, ended up rolling right through the base, so great attack, Mo, and congrats to on going to Town Hall 10, and hopefully it all works out for you, getting nice attacks and, and learning the Town Hall 10 ways. So next we're going to be looking at an attack by, um, it's going to be by me, I believe, and I'm showing this one just since... I was one of the only people who three-started with hogs this war. Most of them were Lalos. And what I did here is I ended up pulling the CC from this top area here. And what I planned on doing was getting those three defenses up there, the Archer Tower, Cannon, and Wizard Tower. But I wasn't expecting there to be 15 minions in the CC since I was also a first attack on this base. And I barely even got that cannon. Um, Wizard Tower didn't go down, which ended up not causing them that much of problems because, well, I guess we'll, we'll show you what here, what happens in a second. All the minions get bunched up pretty quick. I drop a few barbs in my witches, and since they're all still bunched up, I get a witch, oh, wizard down as soon as I can, and it really just destroys most of those minions just in one hit, which was really nice. Uh, I wasn't expecting there to be a a Tesla on the outside there, but that's pretty much where I was going to put my uh, my golem anyway. I was a little late on the golem drop there, which ended up not being the biggest of a deal, but I didn't get my wizard down on the top because of it, because I was freaking out kind of about my queen going down. So my queen ends up taking a walk, which actually helps me in the long run, believe it or not. But I then end up just dropping my king down, trying to salvage the raid at that point. I kind of just figured I failed there. But what I end up doing here is getting my king in there pretty nicely, and with both of my witches going in there, that was absolutely huge, helping, you know, just destroy everything that they could and getting uh, as much as tanking as they could be going. But as you can see, my witch up there, or my queen up there, she's not really taking any damage yet, so she's just sitting on a wall. I mean, that ends up actually paying out, as you'll see here. But I end up getting his queen down, not his king like I kind of anticipated, but... That's okay. I get try to get my hogs in here really quick, just so I can have my uh, golems and my w little skeletons still tanking, trying to take not as much damage as possible. I wasn't anticipating the split there on the air defenses either, which ended up being okay. But I had three heals for this base since I pulled, so I really ended up, it really ended up paying off. Uh, I mean, I had a lot of heals for 
a lot, not a lot of base. And my queen over there ends up being huge because she ends up taking out that wizard tower, and I got my uh, my ability off in time to take out that archer tower that was also sitting over there. And since that ha that happened, my I didn't have to worry about those double giant bombs, and I got really lucky there with th with that happening. So. The plan that I had end, ended up working well, but I ended up getting more lucky that my queen ended up going up top since I wasn't anticipating minions in the CC. And we're going to check out one more attack by Nemo this war. Oop. And his was also a Shattered Lalo. But he really just rolls through the space as well. Um, gets his two golems down. I mean, pretty common spread. Gets his wizards down for the funnel. So a great job there. Gets both wall breakers in pretty quick since he doesn't need a whole lot there to get his funnel down. And ends up waiting until he, he knows his king is going to go in, his queen's going to go in. The CC starts pulling from his golems uh, and the queen sitting there on his golem as well. So he does a great job dropping the lightning there, making sure he gets the whole CC or a, a really good portion of it as well. Uh, king goes down pretty quick, but ends up doing his complete job ends up really getting the, a really good portion of the base and he does a shattered here without getting three air defenses and he wasn't planning on it he just really planned on getting that the all the sweeper over there and the air defense over there and his queen's still doing work so it ends up doing being a really great attack and him realizing that he's not going to need three uh three or sorry two air defenses down and the three air defenses that are still up just kind of ends up knowing that since the air defenses are pretty shallow, he has a pretty quick pathing from each air defense, or from each defense to air defense. So it ended up being pretty, pretty easy for the three air defenses to be up. But yeah, just completely steamrolled through the base. Has a lot of loons, really good amount of uh, ups here to clean up, even without getting that third air defense or that second air defense. Sorry. But yeah, great attack by a few members of the clan in here. Uh, it could have been a little bit better. I mean, obviously we always try to clean up the nines, but they had some bases that just really caused us to get high percent two stars, which really sucked for us. But our def bases ended up holding up, ended holding up really well, and that's really what won us this war. So thanks for watching, guys, and please remember to drop a, a sub to the channel, because it really helps out the channel, and just really, it makes it just a lot better for all of us in the One High family with that. And also please just give a thumbs up to the video, and thanks for watching, guys.